Hello and welcome to yet another recording. Um, today we're going to show you something that will make your life a lot easier um, in SPSS. Sometimes you have output that's just too detailed to handle. For example, here you have all the years of birth and you can't really put that into a cross tab and you can't really put it into a frequency because you just will have lots of small individual entries and you need broader groups. So how do you do that? Okay, you close this, then you move across to transform, recode into different variables. Now let's reset this so that we start that from the beginning. And here there's something that's a little tedious. We need to go down and look for the actual variable. It's always a little difficult in SPSS, you may recall. So we have the numeric variable that we want to change and we put that here into an output variable. And we're gonna call this a seven underscore IQ. Then, uh, oops, I didn't have an underscore here. Um, IQ and then I'll have RC for a record. And then I'll just call this here video cast example. Normally, try and have the exactly the right label here year of individual so that I at least have one reminder you have important because otherwise you'll get totally lost so video cast example does the trick here and now we want to group these these um, these respondents into three groups and we start with the older group and we'll say everyone from the lowest up until 1947 we call one, that's the Cold War generation. Then the range and everyone from 1948. Now important that this doesn't overlap with the next one until 1967. We can call the middle generation. Although in the output, you'll want to write down exactly what this is. We'll do that later and then and then to the highest, everyone from 1968 is the post-Cold War generation, at least people that haven't really experienced the post-Cold War actively, the Cold War actively anymore, and here. Now, what we don't need in this case is a system missing because all of the people that have talked to us here, they will know when they were born, and we don't have any don't knows or any refuse to answer, but sometimes you need to look what the other values are and either put them a system missing or make sure that the don't knows and the refuse to answer are also captured here. So don't forget about that. Okay, we move back here and now you see that I've forgotten something here that needs to be changed still. There's still a question mark over here. So let's change that and then let's say okay. And now you'll see at the end of the data set, there's always at the end of the variable view that you have this new variable entered. And we can check it out straight away. We go to Analyze, Script of Statistics, then Cross Tabs, and take Year, click, Control over Life, click it into the columns, make sure the cells have percentages in the rows, continue, Okay, now you can see that we actually, when you move down here, that we've still forgotten something. We just have one, two, and three. So we would need to go back here and then edit the labels. And one we'll call 60 years and older. And just for good habit, we'll do two is 40 to 59 and 3 is 39 and younger add ok and then we'll run our frequency once more our cross tab once more and now you see we have the groups very nicely categorized and let's just look at some of that output and you'll see interesting comparisons, yeah? Younger generation, much less likely to feel that they essentially have no, no control. Conversely here, 
and the middle generation is really in the middle and that you also see in the other countries remember I had split the file into three categories so that we could compare better now generally therefore a very useful trick for working with the data set uh, I'm sure you'll be able to use it many times over just one quick thing that I want to show you here it can actually be easier to do all of this with syntax by recoding so you don't actually need to go in there this is something that I've done some other recoding that I've done will also put that syntax label online make it available for you and then you don't actually need to click all these things it's very easy to write and adapt don't forget the don't knows and the refuse to answer in that yeah, and look in the values label in case you need that okay definitely something useful make sure you try it out straight away so that you remember how to do that